After some time of looking online, trying to find out how to pull these pins and the wires out of uh, a harness for an LS swap, uh, a bunch of people said there was extractors and there's ways to get these out. I couldn't find anything. I couldn't imagine an extractor being able to go down inside one of these tiny little holes right here to pull the pin out. Um, I could, you know, could very well be wrong about that, but I thought that, you know, took some experimenting with a plug and figure out a way to get it apart. And once you take it apart, this cover plate off, you'll see how it'd be pretty tough for there to be an extractor to take this apart. Um, this is a X1 connector specifically. Uh, the X2 is the same. It's for a uh, LY6 specifically. That's uh, a six liter Vortec motor from, uh, from a 2009 Silverado, but um, I already took the back cover off that protects the wires back here and the zip tie. If you can't get that off yourself <clears throat> without the video, then you probably shouldn't be taking the rest of this apart. Um, first thing first is this is in the lockdown position. Uh, this is the position, basically, once you pull it off the ECU, it's, you know, this is how it's going to sit. And you put it on and it, this lever flips this way and locks it in. Uh, so you can't really move it because there's a protection pin stopping you from opening it. But we need to open it because we got to get to this little tab that's kind of hidden back here underneath, you know, underneath the lever right in here, right there. So you get that off. Just put a little bit of a little bit of pull on it, not a whole lot, just just a bit. And inside here, so I get some better light. Inside there, there we go. Right there, there's a little little lock foot. Now you're going to do is just put the screwdriver in there and just push it in just a hair while you're pulling the harness back a little. Oh, I had it. Let me get the one. No way back. Kind of quick snaps open on you. That'll let us get to those that tab, and we can just put it back and get the other tab too. So what we're gonna do is take these open. Oh, knife! They break really easy, so you should be careful. <laughs> Found that out the hard way. This whole thing breaks pretty easy. These little, you know, they look like lock tabs of some sort, right? Let's see. Right here, this guy, you know, this thing, this guy, they, they're not at all. So, just, just pull back that thing a little bit. There, see? Basically stuck the knife down behind it and just rocked it on that piece right here, and it kind of pretty much pushed it back by itself. Let me pull the lever. Over a bit. This one's a little, can be a little trickier because of the frame that's in here, but it will come out the same way. I have to get the old screwdriver for this one though. If you had a smaller screwdriver, you might be okay. Um, I don't have a smaller one here. Let's see if I can push this out.
my son actually helped me with the other one. So it makes this one a little tougher because I need an extra hand. So basically you need to pry that piece back. And so let me pull this open. There. Basically, you can actually see what it is. I got the knife, this knife blade. It's kind of hard to see. Back on behind there and pulled it up and pulled that back. So, let's pull this back a little bit. My, my cat is now trying to get in the video. Back up. Back up, back up. She likes the wiring harness. So we pull on this piece. Helps if the wires are really straight. Some of them are a little are twisted. Like uh, these two tans. I definitely want to retwist them before you put this back in, but there we go. They basically slide back like that. You got some block out tag, you know, pieces for the ones that weren't used, and the factory ones, the factory lockouts, the hard plastic teeth in here, and then this is a it might be option. No, get options. All right. So once you get that back, here's the this is the rubber boot. And there just protects the wires. It's pretty, really, it's really, it's pretty sturdy and it's really flexible. So you know, you don't have to be uh, super gentle with it. So slide your screwdriver through, make sure you don't get the twisted one and start yanking up on them. And... This is really not as pinned anywhere close to as much as the as my X2 was. All right, so now you'll see the back of the pins in there. So there's no way to get them locked this way for sure. They just pull out. It makes it a little easier. The reason I pulled this apart, it makes it a lot easier to once you push the pin and unlock it. You can pull them all out here, and then after this piece is off, you can just pull them through the rubber boots or this or you know. Makes it a little easier because when they come through here, they're really snug, and you sometimes you got to turn them and pull them out. They get a little stuck in there. And for this one, <clears throat> all this is is really just prying up on this body to get to unlock. It's got like a there. See, in fact, I don't. <laughs> oh. So I broke that little tab off there. Whoops. There's a little lock in there. See it right there. Oops. 
Sorry about that. The phone rang. You're a telemarketer. You can bite my bag because I don't like answering your calls when I'm trying to do something. And as you just pry up on here, I broke those loose. It's basically coming up now. There we go. There. Basically, this there's a little lock here. And there. And they fit inside this little slot here. And over there, and they lock in. So they're in here. Down inside that piece right there. So. <clears throat> this is basically what I was saying about the, the pins. You know, you got... Let's see. Show you. There's like a little, there's little feet right here, down inside these, on this side. And these feet, this little, so you can see them right here really well. This little tab right here is what holds that in. So if you had an extractor, you know, that window doesn't really allow you to get, you know, on the outside of that pin to get those out. You know, there's no way. You know, you're basically gonna, you know, get this in here and do this pin over here first. Oh, see, they push up pretty easy, but they gotta pull them through. So, top pin here. Let's go in one. Mm -hmm. White and black. If you get in there, basically you grab that little tab. And pull it back. I know that you can't really see on the video, but there's a little foot in there. You just basically hear that click. Pull it back and pull your wire. And that foot sits in. Sits in here. There we go. It's on this piece right there. One thing you discover, I just learned how to zoom my phone so it's nice and clear. Well, it's infinitesimally better. So, there you can see that locking feet. Let me show you that. We'll do the next pin over, I guess, since we got a little better, a little better view now. That's not it. Be the green one. All right. Basically, you see, there's the foot right there. And there, pull it right down. Okay, right through. See, there's a little like this. Little top piece is what you're grabbing onto right here. Let's see if I can even better. There you go. This piece is what you're going to grab onto right here. I'm going to pull that foot back. And like, see, like that. Try to do this while I'm watching it there. Let's see. Now little stick out piece is what's on the wire. Things that are not easy. Um, looking through your phone while you're trying to make a video to get a pin like that. 
These are rather difficult. Also helps you pull the right wire. Pulling the white wire when you should be pulling the yellow wire is not helpful. There you go. Push the pin back, pull the wire out. So there you go. That's the basically where the way you're going to take those out of there. You know, putting them back in, you'd want to put to have this in first. It's because it's a guide and it stops them from doing what they're doing now and poking out and wobbling around. And, and <clears throat> it might even be easier to go the other way if you're cutting your harness and you're going to use them to go, you know, push and pull through this way. However, my harness is still everything's on it, so I'm just going to basically I'm doing this just so I can plug all the cables in, you know, tuck the harness, and route it back. So you don't see it as much and then pin it afterwards. So oh, the video helps you out.